Um, I found out about it through my husband, actually. I honestly had never heard of Puffs. It was my first, I didn't, he knew all about it. I had never heard anything about it. And um, so he filled me in kind of what it was, that it was parody and in such of a certain school of magic. So I was like, okay, that sounds kind of fun. And he kind of convinced me to go out for it. I really enjoy working with Alchemy because, uh, well, one, it's my very it's my very first time doing a production with them, and um, I know Jeff Lowe. I've worked with him like ten years ago on a project, and um, he's it's really cool. It's you know young and you know hip, I guess you can say. Like they don't do just the everyday standard kind of shows. They ex- broaden their horizon, whereas you know there's other certain theater companies that maybe don't go or want to take that jump as far as. Um, really putting out really unique projects and projects that maybe not have maybe have like a touchier subject I guess matter (laughs) and alchemy seems to be that kind of theater that wants to like let's stretch the bar a little bit more uh my director Jeff Lowe is fantastic he really wants you to you know find yourself within the character and whatnot and um I really like his strategy of rehearsal he really, you know, it's not just, I never feel like we have, if there's a scene that we haven't covered in a while, I I have to remind myself, okay, what were we doing that was yesterday or how long ago was that? It's like we cover as many scenes as, as we possibly can within one rehearsal. So every rehearsal, it's, it's like just wash, rinse, repeat over and over and over again. And it helps you get off book quicker. It helps you understand what's going on quicker. And I just really like his, I've never had that as far as the director goes. I play Megan Jones, and she's kind of a person that's trying to find herself within the school. She, uh, through each year, the first, like, three, I think three to four years, she essentially tests out every house in which she fits the best in. But she believes she fits with the snakes. She does not want to be a puff. She, her whole family is, um, are, are puffs. And she is someone that does not want to resonate with that at all. So she tries to branch, branch away. She's like the awkward high school kid that's just trying to find her place in the world and what, sh- what crowd or what group will accept her. And um, just because I am a big fan of, you know, just in general of what it is based off of. And I always have been a fan since it came out and whatnot. And it, it just kind of brings out the quirkiness in everybody. So I am part of that house. So... <laughs> So I definitely resonate with that character. My favorite character in the play, hmm. You know, I think it's Susie Bones. Uh, she is so over the place and so sporadic that it's, she's kind of like me <laughs> in real life. I know you can't really tell right now how I am, but in, out in the real world, I think she and I are kind of the same person <laughs> as far as being very peppy and chippy, I guess you can say. My favorite class in the play? Um, probably the Frog Choir. Probably the Frog Choir. Probably, um, if I was not playing Megan Jones, I would probably be playing, again, probably um, Susie Bones or maybe even Sally Perks. That's probably who I'd be end up playing. The word puffs, what does it mean to me personally? Um... The outcast that you can really, you know, trust and love and resonate with. I think they're probably one of the most realistic, real life um, groups of people that are, even though it's it's fantasy and whatnot, but I think in real life there are actual like walking around, uh, puffs in the world that, or people that would resonate, uh, I can't even word it correctly, uh, people that really are like puffs and I think I just think that they're the most they're the most relatable out of everybody the Southern California audience should go see puffs because third or nothing (laughs) you'll find out in the play what that actually means if you actually come and see it that if they have if they've never felt like the hero that they can be the hero um, this play is all about the oddballs out that you know eventually come up on top and that they too can really you know, save the day, even though they don't think that they can.